あっトキシコ私も疲労とまなぎれで足が棒にもう限界だからってここに倒れ込むな<笑>あ私が歩けるようになるまでこのまんまだなあお前は恥ずかしくないのかよ So, when it comes to a moral guild, there is for sure stronger characters that I think make the show better. And each of them have their own shtick, right?、Uh, Tak Takashiko, you know, she constantly gets in these very promiscuous kind of events, ordeals, but she has like a certain sex appeal to her. Hanabata's thing is she has quadruple X's. You know, I don't even know F's or G's or I don't even know. You know what I mean? Like, I I don't, I, I think that I, I don't even know if I've seen that big in my life, you know, even in real life.、Uh, you know,、uh, so she has like, you know, I don't even know what those are. M's. She has something ridiculous. And then her thing is that when she transforms, she goes berserk mode or whatever. She basically becomes dumb, like two brain cells, right? Then you have Medina's thing as like being the innocent, kind of like the, you know, the, the innocent type, you know? And then we have Hiramuki.、Uh, and Hiramuki's whole thing is being dumb and susceptible to landing herself in constant, etchy situation, you know,、uh, sexy situation over and over again, no matter what she interacts with, whether that she's interacting with the simple cucumber. That she can buy from, the, from a you know,、uh, grocery stand, or whether she's interacting with children or trying to take down monsters. That seems to be the thing. So, I personally feel her shtick, like, I, I really like the, the, the guild lady, right? What is her name?、Uh, Inoma, in, in Inome, whatever. And Isin, her daughter. Like, I think they bring a different element, you know, to the show, you know, and the, the reality is this show is all just, it's simply just all about itchy, right? It's all about just feel good degeneracy. But some of it's done better than others. And I think this first part of, epi the, this first part of episode eight, the Takashiko stuff, like, she, she's my favorite character. I'm telling you guys, she's best girl. Like, she's the one that makes you feel stuff, okay? Uh, but I think her part of the episode, you know, hunting the spider,、uh, Kikaru needing to do the parkour stuff, him realizing, like, yo, what the F? Did I just do parkour? Her needing to use the bathroom and needing Kikaru to, to hurry up, you know,、uh, her being able to, you know, burn everything, but then doing it wrong. Like, she does good stuff, you know, but she Fs it up, right? She burns the whole forest, including burns her clothes off. She has a really solid moment, and we get some, some Takashiko fan service on Kikaru.、Uh, and then we get that fan service, like, mmm, yo, oh, mmm, mmm, Takashiko. And then she pees on him. And that just, it's effing hilarious. So I think that she was the highlight of this episode, but it immediately went downhill when we got to Hitamuki. Because again, with her, I think the specific comedy that they have picked for Hitamuki is her continually landing. In these promiscuous situations, no matter what she's doing. So they have the first part, which is her just simply buying a cucumber or whatever that ribbed vegetable was. And、uh, her, you know, getting hit on by old man and, or her old men and her, you know, being imagined to put it in certain places of her body and whatnot. And that ended up,、um, you know, being a really cool scene for us as a viewer. Uh, but then she plays with the neighbor kids, and basically, the neighbor kids, you can just substitute them for the monsters. They did the same things to her. And we've seen it time and time and time again with her. So I, I feel like we've seen enough Hitamuki. Like, we just need her to be, like, you know, a little, like a little sprinkle on top of our ice cream as the show goes on. We need more Hanabata. We need more Medina. We need more Takashiko. I think we've seen Hitamuki too much. And if they decide to do something different with her, I think it'd be okay. But it's, they do the same thing over and over. So, like, I would have gotten this whole episode being Takashiko stuff. You know, maybe he, you know, maybe she invites him,、uh, Kikuru to her room and they play. I don't know. There could have been something else here. But what they try to do is they try to shove in Hidemuki and just didn't work for me. So, I would say I thoroughly, degenerately, 
really enjoyed the first half of the episode. The second half of the episode, I thought was garbage. I like it. it thought it was awful. Like, it didn't even like get me excited, or it didn't do anything. You know what I mean? In a sexy way, or in a just like, oh, I'm just this is cool to watch. Both ways, it did nothing for me. That's just me personally. You know what I mean? Uh, I think the Takashiko stuff really did. I thought they, I thought they hit the nice, they hit the nice, etchy taste buds the right way. Like it was like, you know, it felt like it was good. Second half, not so much. So that's all I have to, to say. You know, there's not really much to say when it comes to this kind of anime. Uh, but that's my opinion on what we got. So, so hopefully next week we get more how to bot this stuff because I think we haven't gotten enough triple Gs, double Fs, quadruple Zs, whatever those are. We haven't gotten enough how to bot this stuff. Or even transition back to Medina. We haven't got enough Medina stuff. Or go back to Enome, you know, and the stepfather stuff. I thought that was pretty funny. Just less Hidamuki. Let me know what you guys thought. All right, see you guys next week. Stay up.